some linden tea to feel better. I collected the flowers from the trees outside of my dormitory. Anyway, uh, hello guys, uh, let's watch the, let's watch the latest propaganda video by PragerU called "What do we do about the homeless?" So, yeah, this is will be uh, this will be off script. Uh, live reaction, first reaction. I have not watched it. I have not prepared. Uh, and yeah, I fully expect them to just, you know, say some shit like, you know, pull themselves, pull yourself by your bootstraps. If you're homeless, uh, you know, learn to code. Let's see what kind of bullshit they're going to be feeding us in this video. Okay, let me just uh, switch to a different scene. High tech. Okay, uh, let's watch this shit. What do we do about the homeless? Kill this them, is yeah. one of the most vexing public policy problems we face. If you live in a big city, especially on the West Coast, you literally face it every day. And every day it seems to get worse. Why? Why? Because of capitalism. Because we have like fucking 20 times in the US, like 6 to 22 times more empty homes than the homeless people. Because the top fucking 1% extracts all the wealth that they can out of, uh, you know, everybody below them. Because they lobby uh, all of their interests and, and exclusively their interest, interests uh, in the government. Because, you know, fucking corruption is uh, legal in the US. You know, you, because the United States is a fucking ass-backwards country. Let's see what he actually says about this shit. Let's start with a couple facts. First, oh, the fine. word itself is misleading. Homelessness is not primarily a housing problem. It's a human problem. <laughs> it's a human problem. I wonder what they mean by human problems. Because the humans themselves are uh, responsible for being homeless. They didn't pull uh, the bootstraps hard enough. The primary drivers of homelessness are drug addiction and mental uh -huh. illness. Uh-huh. According to data from UCLA's California... You know, drug addiction and mental illness, you know, two things that we could, you know, mitigate by putting in, uh, by establishing proper social uh, safety nets, maybe considering Medicare for all, shit like that. But no, it will take away like 1% of uh, your wealth, uh, rich people. So it's unacceptable, right? California Policy Lab, approximately three quarters of people living in cars, tents and on the streets suffer from serious mental illness, drug addiction, or both. Okay, so it makes it even worse. So we have to care about them even more. Yeah, so... Okay. Second, right. despite these conditions, the homeless actually make rational decisions about where they want to live. Not surprisingly, they move to the most permissive environment they can find. Uh -huh. Make your city attractive for the homeless, and oh. they'll beat a path to your doorway. <laughs> so the argument is going to be... Let's uh, make our cities as hostile to the homeless uh, as possible and the homeless will go extinct or some shit like that, like di the dinosaurs? Like, what the fuck, really? Is this, is the this Venice going Boulevard underpass on the border of Los Angeles and Culver City brings home this point. It's one of thousands of concrete structures in Los Angeles County, but there's a curious detail. The Los Angeles the bridge, side is full of right? tents and the Culver <sighs> City side is empty. Why? Yeah, 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 wow. Because the two cities have different public policies. Because in, in one city, they just shoot the homeless in the back of the head, and the other city, they just, you know, don't mind them, right? Or they are kind of uh, empathetic or, or some shit. Los Angeles has effectively decriminalized public camping and drug consumption, while Culver City drug enforces the law. This pattern yeah. that the homeless the go the policy environment is the most permissive can be seen up and down the West Coast. In San Francisco County, it's estimated that 30% of- Then if homeless go where the, uh, the environment is most permissive, maybe we should make the environment most permissive in the fucking vacant housing that nobody fucking occupies and uses for anything. You know, maybe th maybe that should be like the position. Like, I I'm personally a proponent of the idea that housing, like the basic housing at least, should be a human right. It should should be fucking provided. If you don't have a house, 
if you don't have a place where you know your belongings can be kept safe when you can you know take a shower when you need when you can cook for yourself when you can sleep and all of that shit when you can you know not freeze to death uh it's very hard to get a job not just get a job to maintain a job so people who are saying like oh you're homeless just fucking get a job you're a fucking idiot okay you're a fucking idiot yeah so just fucking give them houses that's that's what we should do about the homeless like it's not like you motherfuckers don't have the money. You have the money to fucking bomb like half the fucking globe, but you don't have the money to spend on your, on your own citizens, on fucking veterans that participate in your wars and then live in the streets. Like, fuck you. <laughs> the homeless migrated there after becoming homeless somewhere else. In the city of Seattle, that number is 51%. The San Francisco Chronicle estimates that hundreds of homeless individuals move to the Bay Area each year because of the perception that it is a sanctuary for people who are unwilling to participate in programs designed to get them off and keep them off a life in the streets. Mm -hmm. At first glance, this would seem to make no, no programs. sense. Why would an individual with no shelter or stable source of income move to one of the most expensive cities in the country? But in the world of the homeless, it makes perfect sense. That's because they operate under a different set of incentives than the average citizen. They're not humans? In a research shit? survey what? of homeless migrants in Seattle, 15% said they came to access homeless services, 10% came for legal marijuana, and 16% were transients who were traveling or visiting when they decided to set up camp. But this dramatically understates the biggest draw of all, the de facto legalization of street camping, drug consumption, and property crime. As former Seattle Public Safety Advisor Scott Lindsay has shown, the city is now home to a large population. What the fuck is the point? Like, uh, the fact that there are, more, there are more fucking homeless people in some cities is because there's drug legalization and uh, camping legalization. Okay, so you really want to just propose that we should just make their lives fucking miserable? And that's the solution? What the fuck? What's what's the point? What the fuck are you even talking about? What's the point of this shit? Of homeless, prolific. Yeah, yeah, fucking homeless. Just homeless. Just want to like you know smoke pot, guys. Like, if you're a homeless person, I mean, if you do have uh, access to weed, weed is not like super expensive. I mean, I have bought weed. It's you know if you don't like use it a lot, it's not really going to be too much. It does cost money, but, I mean, it's not cocaine or some shit. Like, you know, you want to get some recreation into your life, I guess, if you're a homeless person, right? And, like, not every homeless person is a fucking alcoholic. People want to have something that can help them relax and kind of cope. The society is accepting uh, them living like an animal on the street. Like, nobody fucking gives a shit about them. They just are on their own. It's kind of shitty. Like th this fucking, this guy, he wouldn't, he would not understand it. It's probably some sheltered piece of shit. He's never fucking had hardships in his life. Anyway, sorry, I got on a fucking rent. Like offenders. Rent, rent. People who commit rent? property crimes to feed their addictions, crimes. but are rarely held accountable for- Feed their addictions. Yeah. To feed their addictions, of course. Yeah, they're shooting, shooting up fucking heroin. Idiot, fucking idiot. Like, maybe they do property crimes because, you know, they need to, like, eat. Maybe somebody's manipulating them into doing fucking property crimes. Like, uh, that famous video uh, about a guy who lived on Skid Row. He was uh, saying that there are fucking gangs who get people addicted to drugs over the course of, like, half a year. And then those homeless people who are addicted to fucking drugs, they will do whatever they want. Whatever they tell them to do. Like, maybe you should protect those people who are, like, super vulnerable. Instead of, like, vilifying them. This is so, so fucking terrible. Jesus for those crimes by the criminal justice system. So, is ever-increasing homelessness our inevitable future? I mean, if we continue to live in a capitalist world, then I guess, yeah, of course. Like, when, when you extract all the wealth, when, you know, the richest make fuckloads of money, you know, this, this money has to come from somewhere. It doesn't just magically fucking all appear from the ether. People get, you know, they get thrown out of their homes. 
like when a fucking a billionaire, trillionaire, quadrillionaire lowers the wages in his company to get more profits for his or her shareholders, some people are going to lose homes, some people are not going to be able to pay rent, not pay for fucking food, for, you know, education for the kids. Yeah, of course, it's an inevitable future, you know, up to the point uh, uh, when we, you know, kill all of the fucking billionaires and eat their flesh. If our goal is to make life as attractive as possible for the homeless, the answer is yes. If our goal is to actually help the homeless, the answer is no. Actually, Houston help. Mayor mm -hmm. Sylvester Turner yeah. is a Democrat, but his approach to homelessness is a world apart from his counterparts in Los Angeles, San Francisco, and Seattle. It is simply not acceptable for people to live on the streets. It is not good for them, and it is not good for the city, Turner has said. Yeah, so give them homes. Okay, problem solved. I don't remember, I think there, there was one country in which they actually gave the homeless, uh, gave the homeless homes. Uh, which was it? I'm gonna Google it. Free residents, uh, new residents. Oh, Finland. Yeah, Finland ends homelessness and provides shelter for all in the need. 2018. In UK, Germany, blah, blah, blah. Most homelessness policies work in the premise that the homeless person has to, to sort some problems out, like mental addiction. But Finland are the people who are actually not uh, morons. They are. They understand that to sort your problems, to get a job, to fix your, you know, some kind of addiction, to fix your health problems, to you know, fucking fix yourself, you need a some kind of a basis, some place you can feel safe. They need home from which, as a basis, they can build up. So Finland, yeah, they did it three years ago. And fucking PragerU is still like, hmm, hmm, what the fuck do we do about the homeless? Hmm, hmm, no, we should just probably blame them. We should probably, do, we should probably say that they're all drug addicts. Yeah, we should probably just theory craft how to make their life the most miserable in our states so that they, you know, fuck off from there or, or just, you know, die. Because, you know, not every homeless person, uh, when the condition of living in some state becomes unlivable, not every person will be able to move to a different state. Some will just fucking die, you know. And the people who are, uh, are presenting for PragerU, like this uh, Christopher Rufo, senior fellow of uh, Piece of Shit Incorporated, uh, he doesn't give a fuck. He wants them to die. Houston's policy so is what, a what the fuck did the Houston perfect guy example do? of what Turner calls a tough love approach. Tough the love. city has built housing for the chronically homeless, Got formed a coalition of non-profit partners, and the city has what? policy is a perfect example of what Turner calls a tough love approach. Tough love. Uh -huh. The city has built housing for the chronically homeless. Oh, oh, so, so you know, housing, actually housing for the chronically homeless. Uh huh. Uh huh. Formed a coalition of nonprofit coalition of nonprofit partners, partners and uh -huh. lobbied the state government for more mental health and addiction services. So I guess he's doing the right thing, right? At the same time, Turner has enforced a strict ban on public camping and promoted a citywide campaign to discourage citizens from giving money to panhandlers. How the fuck does this? Uh, how the fuck does this help? What? What's the point of this shit? Uh, don't give money to panhandlers. What? But if you give them homes, if you give them the opportunity to move into a home, right? And you get some help, I presume, you know, some money, I guess, to buy food and shit. Maybe not money. You have like food stamps in New America, right? I, I don't know how it works, honestly. Why the fuck would they panhandle? If you presumably have solved their most of their problems, so I guess to kind of uh, appease uh, the right, the conservatives, he kind of did a proper approach, but he also like, you know, scolded them. Like, you motherfuckers, you know, stop fucking smoking pot, panhandling. You 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 suck, right? Stop camping. Yeah, they're not going to f fucking camp if you give them a, a proper house. 
I mean, proper home. So I presume this is just a part of the, the negative side of his uh, policy. Does he also give them like a dozen lashes? Do they like beat them in public? Like once a month? And promoted a citywide campaign to discourage citizens from giving money to panhandlers. Uh -huh. The results are as instructive as they are stunning. Over the past eight years, Houston has reduced its homeless population by 54%, while it has skyrocketed in West Coast cities. Different policies, different results. Where a Seattle politician opposes hosing down feces-covered sidewalks because hoses are racist, Houston fights in the courts for the right... What? Hoses? What? Wait, what? I'm sorry? Because hoses are racist. Hoses are racist? I don't understand the reference. Is, is there some kind of a conservative meme? Am I stupid? Hoses are racist? Have hoses been used to, you know, do some shit, some weird shit to, to black people or some shit? I don't understand. I don't understand. Houston fights in the courts for the right to clean up encampments. Where California progressives push for more drug injection... I don't care. Each time I see the California Republic's uh, flag, I just think about Fallout New Vegas. Uh, doesn't look like a real life flag to me. Sites <laughs> and have decriminalized thefts under nine hundred and fifty dollars. Mm -hmm. Houston imposes consequences. What encampments? Where California progressives push for more drug injection sites and have de push for more drug injection sites. Criminalized thefts under nine hundred and fifty dollars. Pushed for more drug injection sites. Drug in injection sites, California. So it's overdose prevention program. So drug injection sites is, you know, it's not fucking nefarious, some nefarious shit to make sure that, uh, you know, I'm homeless can more easily shoot a lot of heroin and you know do sodomy it's just to make sure that they don't fucking die as much from overdoses it's just it sounds sounds good to me like what what was it like needle exchange program or some shit like what was it called to make sure that people don't get infected by some bullshit it kind of makes sense you know, to have your population less sick, less diseased. Decriminalized thefts under 950. I mean, I presume they, it's not legal to steal still, but maybe you don't go uh, on a death row for this. America still has capital punishment, by the way. Fucking uh, dumbass country ruled by idiots. Dollars. Immoral Houston idiots. imposes consequences not only for theft, but for aggressive panhandling, window washing, and other street obstructions. Window washing? What the fuck is window washing? So they just uh, fucking clean your car or some shit? Trying to actually do what the fucking, you know, these ghouls are saying, you know, to uh, work for the money. So they fucking wash your window and they get to eat. Uh, what's so bad about it? Jesus Christ. You guys need to read the Bible that you like so much. Like, I'm a fucking atheist, like, hail Satan, but I'm probably much closer to fucking Jesus Christ than these fucking demons. As this Texas city has demonstrated, yeah. local leaders in cities of any size can meaningfully reduce homelessness through a strategy that mixes compassion with common sense enforcement. It I need to give them a fucking home. That's it. Like, you don't need to fucking shame them publicly. Whatever. I'm actually surprised that Prayer U has condoned the idea of giving the homeless the homes. Because that's wild to me. That's incredible. That these fucking capitalist shills would actually be alright with somebody giving homeless what they need. But of course, you, you know, you gotta spit in their face at the same time to kind of balance things out. You know, fucking shit on their doorstep to their new home, like, once a week. But anyway. If cities stop allowing public encampments and open drug consumption and start prosecuting property crimes, they will have much more success redirecting the homeless away from a life of self-destruction and toward a life of hope through mental health treatment, 
drug rehab, and job training. That's what we all want, isn't it? You, you don't want that. that. That's bullshit. Like, the core of your argument here is to stop uh, the debauchery, stop uh, the homeless from, you know, shooting up drugs and, uh, you know, living in camps under the bridges. That's what you, that's what you want. You don't, you don't really uh, accentuate this thing about homes. You're actually, actually giving them what they actually need. Not the scolding, not the fucking training bullshit, but homes. A safe place for them, somewhere they can sleep without somebody stealing their fucking shoes. Did he did he actually mention it like a second time in his video after that, after that one time when he said it? Whatever. So why don't we do it? I'm Chris. Because you're a fucking bastard, and people think you are best. Christopher bastards. Rufo, senior fellow at the Manhattan Institute for Prager University. Yeah, that was, that was fucking weird. Like this video was less ghoulish than I would have expected from PragerU, but it still was fucking stupid. Instead of saying all of this bullshit, they could have uh, they could have said, "Oh shit, I'm gonna I'm gonna switch." Oops. Yeah, they could have said that you know, let's just give the fucking homeless homes. You know, homeless. If we, if we give them homes, they just normal people, kinda. All right. So they should have just focused on this fact instead of like, oh, you gotta punish them for panhandling. Oh, you gotta punish them for window washing. Like, fuck you. That's not something you should focus on uh, when you are speaking about an issue like this. I don't know, if fucking Finland actually realized how to do it, if they fucking figured it out, like you have 300 million people are living in the United States of A. You have some brains somewhere in your country, you should be able to figure it out. Like the biggest problem really with their video was that they were, they were focusing, explicitly focusing on not the important things. They were focusing on shaming them, on making their lives harder, on being stricter with, with the homeless, when actually in that one case, when, uh, that, what was that, Houston? Seattle? I don't fucking remember. I don't care. Uh, when in that successful example, the main thing that helped homeless was, you know, that they were provided homes, right? That's that's what they should be focusing on. It's about uh, providing people something that the society should be providing when the when the society fails them. So yeah, this video was made possible by me, who stopped uh, his gaming binge and finally decided to do something productive with his life at eight o'clock on Sunday. Uh, anyway, thanks for watching and uh, yeah, if you want to support the channel, you know what to do. Have a good one. I love you.